Kelly and I'm a chemistry teacher. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to balance chemical equations. Balancing equations is an essential skill and it's used throughout many other topics in chemistry. A chemical equation is a statement that shows what kind of substances and how much are involved in a chemical reaction. According to the law of conservation of mass, matter is neither created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction. What that means is that every atom at the beginning of the reaction or in the reactant is also present at the end of the reaction or in the product. So nothing disappears or gets created, rather it just changes forms. We balance chemical equations to make sure we have equal quantities of every atom in the reactant and in the product. Here's how. For our example, we're going to look at the problem solving steps. The first step is to write the unbalanced equation. Our first equation is going to be hydrogen reacting with chlorine to produce HCl. We're going to leave this blank because it's not balanced yet. Step two is to count how many atoms of each element are in the product and in the reactant. So we're going to draw a little chart to represent this. We have hydrogen and chlorine. Those are the only elements in this reaction. I'm dividing it into the reactant and the product side. On the reactant, this subscript 2 means that there's two hydrogen atoms. So I'm going to write a 2 in the chart. The chlorine also has a two as a subscript. So this means there's also two chlorine atoms in the reactant. The hydrogen and chlorine on the product side don't have any subscripts. So that means there's just one of them. Step three, we add coefficients until both sides are equal. We only add coefficients. We never change the subscript. Never change the subscript. Because that means it would turn into something completely different and our whole reaction would change. So never change the subscript. I'm noticing here that if I add a two on the right side, it's going to distribute to the hydrogen and the chlorine, making both of those have two atoms on the product side. We always want to reduce the coefficients to the lowest possible ratio. These blanks next to the hydrogen and chlorine in the reactant, that means they're just one of each. You can leave it blank or you can write a one. So just to show, our ratio is one to one to two, which can't be reduced any further. So that means it's already reduced. And last but not least, check your work. So I count them up again and I see I have two hydrogens on the reactant and the product, two chlorines in the reactant and the product. So this is balanced. Let's try another example together. We're going to use the same steps, but with a different reaction. And here we've got our unbalanced reaction to start off with. Then we're going to count how many atoms of each element are in the product and reactant. So all we have here are aluminum and bromine. Those are the only elements that are in this reaction. There's only one aluminum in the reactant. And since bromine has a two subscript, there's two of them in the reactant. There's no subscript for the aluminum in the product. So there's only one. Bromine, however, has a three. So there are three bromine atoms in the product. Now we have to add coefficients. So the aluminum is balanced, but the bromine, we've got two in the reactant, three in the product. So what we have to do here is find the least common multiple of two and three in order to get them to equal the same number. So the least common multiple between two and three is six. So in order to get the bromine in the reactant to be six, we're going to add a three coefficient. The three distributes to the two, three times two equals six. 
Then in the product, the two distributes to the three subscript. Three times two is six as well. However, the two also distributes to that aluminum. So now there's two aluminum in the product. So we have to go back to the reactant and add a two coefficient to the aluminum and the reactant so that it equals. Step four, we have to reduce the coefficients to the lowest possible ratio. So we're just gonna check, we've got a two to three to two ratio according to these coefficients. So it's already reduced. We can't reduce that any further. Last step, check your work. So aluminum, we have two in the reactant, two in the product, good to go. Bromine, we have six in the reactant now, six in the product, balanced. And that's how you do it. Check your understanding by trying this practice problem. And write your answer in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you thought this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe below to keep learning chemistry with me. Stay positive and keep learning. Mm -hmm.